Now we move on to a really, really exciting topic, which is IoT, also known as Internet of Things. And it seems like you can't move these days without hearing about another device that is connected to the Internet that is sending data. And this ranges from everything from, you know, Nest cameras in your home, your refrigerator. But the industry ramifications are pretty important today. And Azure has a whole lot of IoT services to help support the industry. Uh, whether you're a farmer out there trying to, you know, get more production out of your crops by having more data about say moisture and things like that uh, whether you, you know basically a car manufacturer or an insurance company for you know automobiles and you want more data about the cars to maybe change the way you construct insurance policies lots of industry you know challenges and and changes happening as a result of IOT uh, and if we go into a little bit more detail about what Azure IOT means well Azure IoT is a collection of Microsoft managed cloud services and they're focused on connecting, monitoring, and controlling IoT assets. That's kind of the, the core of everything there. Uh, and if we get into that a little bit more, IoT solutions are made up of one or more IoT devices and one or more backend services running in the cloud. Uh, so let's just look at some device examples first of all. Uh, we could have the water sensors for farming, it's a good example. We could have pressure sensors on a remote oil pump. And we could have things like temperature and humidity sensors in an air conditioning unit. All, you know, great examples of IoT devices that could be out in the field, you know, sending data back. Uh, and ultimately, these IoT services in Azure are a place to send data back to. But let's break down those services a little bit more. Well, one, we have IoT Central. So this is a SaaS solution to help you connect and to manage all your devices out there that could be pushing updates out to them, just knowing where they are, you know, asset management, things like that. It's really around just managing and connecting your devices there. And then we have IoT Hub, which is a core service a lot of customers use now. This is an underlying service needed to facilitate the messaging back and forth between your IoT application that's perhaps running in the cloud and the devices out in the field. And then we have IoT solution accelerators. These are complete, ready to deploy solutions that implement common IoT scenarios. And so for the exam for AZ900, you really just need to know how to describe IoT, understand what it is, where it fits in, you know, to the picture as a whole. Um, but you shouldn't be required to go into any more technical detail. You just need to know at a high level, you know, what these services do. Um, and, you know, you might get some questions around when to use which one uh, and maybe some scenarios about IoT out in the field.